Hello everyone, I am DJ Mustang. Today we are going to solve a hack the box machine. The machine name is Bashed. It's a Linux box. Difficulty is easy and IP address is 10.10.10.6.8. So let's start. We'll start with the nmap. There is nmap. S S is for sync scan, S V is for service version, capital O is for voice version detection, capital A is for aggressive scan, and 10 10 10 that is IP address, host IP address of the target machine that is a 10 10 10 dot 6 8. It will take some time, so we have a saved output. It's uh, okay, so I can see uh, 80 only one port is open that is in the port number 80 and uh, uh apache 2.4.18 is running on this uh, uh on this machine so we'll quickly check uh, what kind of web application is this it's 10 10 10 6 8 so i can see a uh, web application uh, it is saying that it's a PHP bash. PHP bash helps a lot with the pen testing. I have tested uh, tested it on the multiple different servers and it was very useful. I actually developed it on this exact server. So the, what the developer is saying, he have uh, developed the same kind of PHP bash. So what kind of PHP bash will quickly check. So developer, what he is saying, uh, the same messages uh, I can see over here. And what kind of shell is it? It's kind of a shell. Uh, it's uploaded on the uh, web application. And uh, I can see if, if a, a user or attacker is uh, typing the pwd command and it is returning with the pwd command result that is a print, print working directory where www.html uploads and if, if uh, the same kind of i mean whatever the command they are uh, uh, typing is the the i mean uh, uh, appropriate result is uh, returning on the same uh, terminal you can see his uh, out input uh, input field over here so we'll quickly check uh, the file name is php bash.php and it's inside the uploads directory so we'll quickly check uploads then php bash.php so this file is not present over here but uh we we cannot say that file is not present it is present but it is maybe inside the different directory maybe this uh, directory doesn't exist uh, on this server so maybe this file is in the other directory we'll search it with the directory buster so dir buster and uh, it's http 10 10 sorry 10 10 68 then we'll choose the word list that is user where is the user user share word list then did buster and medium one and press start once you press start it will start enumerating the directories on this uh, web application so it will take some time we have a saved output we'll quickly stop this and we'll check the older uh, result so i can see uh, in the least view uh, there is a file uh, inside the dev development environment php bash uh, dot php so this file exists in the development uh, dev directory so we'll quickly copy this path and we'll paste it we'll check oh 
I can see the same bash in my browser bash terminal in my browser so it's who am I www data then uh, will uh, ID it's 33 we'll quickly get the flag so we'll first go to the root directory and then um, cd home then it's uh, two directories are uh, there inside the home rxl and the script manager first we'll go to the rxl so we are inside the rxl I can see the user.txt so we'll quickly fetch this okay we got the user flag now um, we have to escalate the privileges to the root so we'll quickly check what kind of privileges this user have sudo l okay they are saying uh, user www may run the following commands on the bash that is a script manager script manager and no password all so you can uh, escalate to the script manager user and there will be no password so we'll quickly uh, escalate our privileges to the script manager sudo minus u use for user that is as script manager then we're going to run the bash shell and uh, mm, i okay I can see no job control in this shell and cannot set terminal process group something and uh, basically we got the uh, root uh, sorry not root the script manager shell over here but uh, it got exit because it's not a stable shell so for the stable shell we'll quickly get the reverse connection on our local machine and then we'll uh, escalate these privileges to the script manager so for the uh, reverse shell we'll uh, go with the python reverse shell it's a uh, normal python reverse shell python c and uh, import os import socket etc etc and here you have to just change the uh, uh, ip address of your local host machine and the port number where you are going to connect your reverse connection so i'm just copy this thing and paste okay before that we'll start our listener on 4444 port 4444 we have started we'll just paste this shell and we got the reverse shell on our local machine if i say who am i it is saying www data so we'll quickly as you know that uh, there is no you uh, sorry as you guys know that um, <clears throat> to pre uh, escalate the privileges to the script manager uh, you don't need uh, i mean this you www data uh, don't need any password so we'll uh, quickly escalate our privileges to the script manager for that as uh, sudo then you use for user manager script manager we're going to run the run on the bash shell uh, and i that's it okay now we have escalated our privileges to the script manager and uh, we are into the shell who am i is a script manager 
ID is 1001. So we'll go to the root directory and we'll check. Okay. So we'll quickly check what kind of privileges this user have. So for that, sudo minus L no tty present and no ask pass program script uh, specified so there is no clue in sudo minus l so currently we are uh, in the root directory and i can see one uh, one folder inside the root directory that is script so we'll quickly check what's there inside the script I can see two <clears throat> files are uh, present uh, uh, in the inside this uh, directory and one is uh, owned by root that is a test.txt and uh, there is one more directory uh, one more uh, file present over here which is uh, uh, owned by script manager so what is this first we'll check this one Okay, I can see uh, this program is basically cat test.py is uh, opening one text file and writing some data inside the in, in that file that is testing one, two, three exclamation. Uh, so basically this is a script where uh, it will open one text file and write something and uh, keep it so we'll check what is this file okay so i can see the same kind of uh, string is written over in here, over here so that means basically um, and it is owned by root so basically root is running this script and uh, wh whatever the script is written according to that it is performing so uh, we'll paste our uh, reverse shell over here so it will uh, i mean as uh, as per the cron job root will uh, detect our script it will run normally and we'll get the reverse shell something like that so we'll quickly uh create our own uh, reverse shell so for that echo and we'll use the same reverse shell this one great okay we'll uh, change the port number uh, maybe one two three four and use we'll use the same reverse shell echo this one and output file may be bashed bashed dot uh, python so py and hit enter so i can see the bashed file is created will quickly We'll quickly start the reverse connection the 12344 port that's the reason i have uh, started listening on the 12344 port and as per the cron job it will run this file as per the schedule and uh, let's wait for some time okay so we got the shell who am i is root wow id is zero so now we'll get the root flag so cd root and uh, 
so we got the root flag so we have successfully exploited the vulnerabilities it was a very easy box and we have uh, fetched both the flags so thank you so much for watching have a nice day